Tune into Nice Radio every Saturday at 7:30 a.m. for A View from the Outside, hosted by Brayton Horn. A View from the Outside takes a look at key issues affecting St. Vincent and the Grenadines and gives a global perspective on how these issues are viewed. Host Brayton Horn will examine a variety of topics to enlighten, stimulate debate, and explore solutions. Hear the facts, hear the real-life stories, hear A View from the Outside. Join Brayton Horn at 7:30 a.m. every Saturday on Nice Radio for a view from the outside. This society need a spectacle. It might help us to see some evil. This society need a spectacle. On a, on a view from the outside this week. This week being the 19th of November 2022. We look at eradicate with the view reflecting on the passing of the United Nations International Eradication of Poverty Day. And we take a closer look at extreme poverty and its effects in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The Cambridge Dictionary defines eradicate as to get rid of something completely or to destroy something bad. In today's program, the primary focus is on what, if anything, is being done in St. Vincent and the Grenadines to eradicate the extreme poverty which the world has been told exists up and down the country. Poverty is defined in the Oxford Dictionary as the state of being extremely poor. And according to concern worldwide, an international humanitarian organization. Extreme poverty is where one lacks or does not have basic assets such as money, land, proper housing, good health and proper health care, etc. Often, people who live in extreme poverty, as is happening in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, usually have to prioritize or choose between some of the basic things in life. For example, they have to choose between eating lunch or eating dinner. Sometimes they have to go throughout the day or for days without having a proper meal. Sometimes they have to choose between paying their electricity bill or their water bill or telephone bill etc. Sometimes they have to choose between paying any of the bills and buying food. Sometimes they have to choose between which of their children they send to school on a particular day. Sometimes they have to make the decision whether to send any of the children to school or which one can go to school at all. Most times, they are unable to afford proper health care and as such their health deteriorates because they have to choose between eating and buying medicine or medication. Extreme poverty is a scourge and every opportunity must be seized to help to eradicate it. Through the years the United Nations has recognized the difficult challenges and the damaging effects of poverty, and more so extreme poverty, that as far back as the 22nd of December 1992, its General Assembly, through Resolution 47 of 196, invited all member states to devote the 17th day of October every year as International Eradication of Poverty Day. It is worth noting here that St. Vincent and the Grenadines is a member of the United Nations General Assembly and has been a member since its admission on the 16th of September 1980. It is worth noting also that up until the 31st of December 2021, St. Vincent and the Grenadines was a member of the United Nations General Security Council when its two-year 
tenure ended. It is no secret that approximately two years ago, in October, November 2020, the statistics of the still undisclosed poverty assessment report showed that a significant number of Vincentians are merely existing below the poverty line. It is also no secret that those statistics were vehemently denied by the ULP government, which by then had been in power for almost 20 years. Despite their denial, however, just a mere few months later, following the volcanic eruption of La Sofre in April 2021, the ULP government, via its leader, announced to the world that there is extreme poverty in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Following such announcement, financial and other aid poured into the country. Millions of dollars in US currency were donated to the country to assist the dispossessed and the displaced and to help in rebuilding. The accountability of that money, though, is another discussion altogether. With the admission by the ULP government of the existence of extreme poverty in the country, it stands out like a sore thumb that the 17th of October, the day designated by the United Nations General Assembly as International Eradication of Poverty Day, goes by in St. Vincent and the Grenadines without any acknowledgement or recognition. One would have thought that with the official recognition by the ULP government of the existence of extreme poverty in the country, the opportunity would have been seized on the 17th of October, International Eradication of Poverty Day, to educate the nation on what is being done in an attempt to eradicate poverty in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. One would have thought that any government which is serious about taking its people out of extreme poverty would have long-term plans and programs in place to assist people out of extreme poverty and to prevent others from falling into extreme poverty. One would have thought that rather than ad hoc and seemingly haphazard announcements on dealing with poverty in the country, there would be concrete and sound policies and programs in place to eradicate poverty. One would have thought that rather than holding on to a draconian vaccine mandate and denying teachers and other public servants of their jobs, that there would have been a recognition not to plunge people further into poverty. There would have been a recognition and there would have been some way of trying to assist people out of poverty and trying to eradicate poverty. One would have thought that there would have been a recognition of increased poverty and the obvious correlation in the escalation of crime in the country. Where are the policies and programs to eradicate poverty, which in effect will help to lessen or eradicate crime? Where are the solutions to help to eradicate poverty, which afflict those who cannot buy books and or uniforms to send their children to school? Where are the solutions to reduce the high unemployment rate in the country, which will in turn help to eradicate poverty? Where are the solutions to reduce the level of prostitution, both male and female prostitution in the country. Prostitution which is born out of the need to survive. Where are the solutions to tackle domestic abuse, 
which from all reports is on the increase in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Studies have shown that domestic abuse is a direct effect of the existence of extreme poverty. Although, of course, it cannot go unstated that the elites in society perpetuate the scourge of domestic abuse as well. Where are the programs to tackle the grave injustice which exists in the country? It is universally recognized and accepted that when one is impoverished, one is more likely than not to be denied justice. No money, no access to the justice system, especially the civil justice system. Poverty is seen as an injustice and therefore programs must be put in place to eradicate it. Where are the programs to eradicate poverty in St. Vincent and the Grenadines? With this glaring negligence and seeming reluctance by the ULP government to tackle or meaningfully help to eradicate poverty in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the questions must be asked. Who benefits from the high rate of extreme poverty in the country? Who are the actual beneficiaries when people are subjected to begging? Who benefits when the majority of people are impoverished? Who lives large and in opulence while so many of the nation's people do not know where the next meal is coming from? Why is such extreme poverty being inflicted on the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines by the ULP government? What is the motive? Who are the actual beneficiaries? It is generally believed that unless and until serious efforts are made and sound programs and policies put in place to help to eradicate extreme poverty, a nation such as St. Vincent and the Grenadines will continue to be afflicted by such extreme poverty. It is a good idea. In fact, it would be an excellent starting point for St. Vincent and the Grenadines, being a member of the United Nations General Assembly, to start at least by recognizing and highlighting the day which is designated by the Assembly, the 17th of October every year as International Eradication of Poverty Day. Start there and in the process present concrete and tangible programs and policies to help to eradicate poverty. It would help also to recognize as did the writer of renown, Eli Kamarov. He said, and I quote, poverty is like a punishment for a crime you didn't commit, unquote. Stop the punishment of the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Until next week, this is Britton Horn with a view from the outside, with a reminder to send your feedback as usual to a view from the outside at hotmail.com. You can also get us on Facebook at A View from the Outside and on YouTube at JMB Horn. Have a pleasant Saturday, have a wonderful Sunday, and have a productive week ahead with everyone doing what is necessary to remind those in power of the importance of taking steps to eradicate poverty in St. Vincent and the Grenadines.